Hello and welcome back to Mark's House and Garden UK. This is my gravel garden and that is a little water feature which I've created in the gravel garden. There's actually a solar powered pond pump in there and on a hot sunny day it babbles away rather pleasingly. However, on a dull and windy day like today it's a little bit lacking in energy. But that does not stop me getting a lot of pleasure from this water feature because on a nearby olive tree I have placed a wildlife trail camera and that is motion activated so any little birds which land on the water feature and either bathe or have a drink will be filmed and so in this video I'm going to share all the footage of 10 different native UK birds and we're going to have a bit of a quiz I'll put the answers in the description box below but how many of these birds can you name there are 10 of them in actual fact, there are 11 questions because at the end, one of the birds is repeated and I'd like you to tell me in the comments below what is slightly different about bird number 11. So let's get straight into our quiz with bird number one. This is bird number one, but what is it? Can you identify it? It's one of our larger UK birds and isn't it a stunner, a kind of a pale, pinky peach body with a beautiful blue stripe down its wing and they're always aware if you look at these birds they're constantly look, looking around themselves presumably for predators um, just in case a cat or even a sparrow hawk in some of our smaller birds might appear on the scene so there's bird number one now let's move on to bird number two isn't this beautiful I had no idea that these were in my garden until I saw this on my wildlife camera. What colour is it and what is it doing with its body? What movement is it making? That gives a bit of a clue as to the name of this wonderful little creature. And we're going to stay on this for a little bit longer because I just think it's such an attractive bird in our gardens. It was startled a little bit there, I think, by the, the fountain underneath it in the water. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? What a wonderful bird. That is bird number two. And here is bird number three. Tiny little creature, isn't it? Mainly blue with a yellow breast. Off it flies, but another one will appear. Here it is. And very gingerly getting into that cold water but it will get in the water eventually and it will have a lovely bath. Presumably washing dust and mites from under its wing. That's bird number three. What is it? Write it down on a piece of paper. The answers are in the description box below this video. And here is bird number four. All one color with an orange beak. Oh, here comes our little friend um, entering stage left will they share a bath together um, the bird on the right I know to be quite territorial and intolerant but it seems to be quite tolerant of this new friend perhaps it's saying come on in the water is lovely and here we have two having a bathe together isn't that wonderful so that's bird number three and bird number four in the bird bath together wonderful now then Bird number five has entered the shot, but bird number four is not quite so tolerant and has chased him off the scene, but it will come back. There it is. That's a male version of this bird, a slightly different colouring to the female version, which you see here. There is a mark on the lens. That's a splash of water, which has come from one of the birds bathing. And here are two female versions of this bird, um, which is bird number five wonderful tiny little creatures they live in the hedge nearby aren't they gorgeous and they like to live in communities uh, if you put two or three nest boxes next to each other these will cohabit in communities we will soon be seeing bird number six large isn't it uh, probably about the same size as bird number one black and white um, you often see these in groups of up to ten and there is a nursery rhyme, isn't there? One for sorrow, two for joy. So I'm always hoping to see two of these. Now I've inserted a bit of footage here of the 
the previous bird, just to give you an idea of the size or the comparison of size, to show you how large this is and how small that other one is. Talking of small birds, look at this. Look at that tiny little ball of a bird there. Tiny, but it always makes its presence known with a very high pitched song. And also, um, you very rarely see them, but they're actually very common. Apparently, this is one of our most common birds, and they make a little round nest with a hole in it. Did you notice then another little bird in the shot? Well, that is the next bird in our quiz, and that will be bird number eight. So we're looking at bird number seven, and bird number eight is here. What is that? A black cap and a yellow breast, and it's looking around consciously, looking around the area for predators, and soon it will be in that water, having a bath. Aren't they cute? Look at that, isn't it wonderful? And it's just landed on the camera, right up on top of the camera. Isn't that wonderful? Up close and personal, I think you'll agree. Right, now here's another bird. This is number nine in our quiz. So we're nearly at the end of the quiz. We've just got one more after this. Now you might be forgiven for mistaking this for one of the other birds that we've already seen but it's not. It's a completely different bird. Observe the, um, the slightly grey blue collar and head and the brown wings which is a different colouring from one of the birds that we've already seen. I'm talking about number five um, so you may have already named number five and you might confuse this with number five but this is number nine. Aren't they gorgeous? They live in hedges they forage in the undergrowth, they look for food. And there is its friend and often mistaken bird, um, not the same. Right, so there we go. We'll soon be leaving this bird and we'll be visited by bird number 10, a bird which all of us will be familiar with, especially for um, gardeners, because it's known as the gardener's friend. And here it is, look at that. Beautiful, shrill little song. It's looking up. I think it can see a rival. Another one of the same species is nearby. It's listening and it's looking. And there it is. There are two now in shot and they are eyeing each other up. These are fiercely territorial, these birds. Um, yes. And the mistake people make about these birds is they think that the female is brown. In actual fact, both male and female have these red breasts. And we all know what it's called, but I'm not going to give the game away. You've got to guess. Write it down on your pad. So that's bird number 10. We're coming on to bonus question, question number 11. And it's one of the birds we've already seen. In fact, it was bird number four. But what's different about this one? It's slightly different, isn't it? There's something different about this one. Curious, isn't it, that the the original one that we saw, the original adult of this very dark coloured bird, had a slightly different feature. Anyway, there we go. That's the end of our quiz. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon for some more wildlife adventures. <laughs>